Would you like to see more activity in your Mighty Network? Are you trying to find out what's happening now and to be able to track to see if new changes improve things? You can use the Mighty Network's insights, the analytics they provide to us, to see what's happening in your network, what your members are doing. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful using the Mighty Network's platform. Let's look at some of the Mighty Insights for a real Mighty Network. You can use the analytics in Mighty Network Insights to get a baseline of what's happening right now in your network, what kind of engagement and activity is happening or not happening. Then you can watch the analytics as you make changes that you think are going to improve engagement and see what the results are. The All Network portion of Mighty Network Insights gives you information about all the spaces together. You can look at information on members, live streams, direct messages, that's the private chats between members or between yourself and members, plans, storage, and there's a glossary. We're going to look at some of the key charts and information that you can get here in Mighty Insights to help you look at and track your member engagement. The Overview tab shows you numbers for total members, contributing members, active members, how those vary over time. The active members in your Mighty Network are people who visit your network. Contributing members are those who do something when they visit beyond just reading. If someone comes in to read, they're an active member. If they click on a post or post, comment, cheer something, those are the types of things that make them a contributing member. You can change the date range that you're looking at. Maybe you want to look at the past 30 days. Be sure to update anytime that you change that date range. Here are the updated charts. The Members tab lets you dive deeper into looking at the data on your contributing and your active members. It also lets you choose a specific space to look at, or you can look at all the spaces in your network. The Contributing Members chart shows you the percentage of active members that are also contributing, that are posting or commenting or cheering or RSVPing to events. If you're trying to get more people to do that type of thing in your network, this is a good chart to watch. The Active Members chart shows you the percentage of total members who are active, who are visiting the network. So if one of your goals is for more people to visit the network and at least read, this is what you want to look at. The new members chart is a great place to watch to see how many new members are coming in because somebody else invited them. If you're trying to get more engagement by your brand new members, or maybe by members who've been around for a while, you can use the active members by cohort chart to see what's happening and watch how your changes affect it. You can see who your most active members are and also what they're doing in your network. These charts at the bottom of the members tab help you to look at how often members are visiting your network. So you may want to encourage people to come in once a week or once a day, maybe once a month. These charts help you to see what's really going on. The chart on the left, active members chart, shows you exact numbers of people who have been in the purple line on a particular day. The middle teal line are the number of people who have been in in the past week. And the top kind of bright pink line are the number of people who have been in for the past 30 days. The chart on the right, the member activity ratio, ratios, looks at a percentage the bottom line is showing you what percentage of your active members are coming in once a day. And the top line on that chart is showing you what percentage of your active members are coming in once a week. The active members heat map is another interesting way to look at activity in your network. How many people are visiting your network? Here I'm going to expand this view so we can see it a little bit better. The darker the color in this chart, the more people are visiting. Each column is a week and each color, each circle is a day. So I can look at how many people were in on any particular day during this week and kind of get in an idea over the calendar year about different cyclical things like are my summers not as busy? 
I can look at the dark colors here and I can go back and remember, oh yeah, that's when there was a big update to Mighty Networks and there were a lot of hosts visiting my network. So this is a really interesting chart to get a good visual of when people are visiting your network. You can turn on and off different colors. So if I leave these dark colors on, I can easily see when were the really busy times. I can see when were the lighter use times. And also, when are the, what's the normal pattern of usage? One of the helpful things about Mighty Networks Analytics is to be able to see engagement and actions that are invisible to you otherwise. One of those are the direct messages between members. Now, you don't get to see what members are saying to each other, but in a chart like this one, you can tell how many messages are being sent between members. I hear you. You really want to know, are the numbers you see in your network good or are they bad? What should they be? There's no one right target or should for these charts. It really depends on the kind of network you have, what's going on, who your members are, and a variety of other things. That's the type of thing I can do with my private clients. In this video, we're going to keep looking at what these charts mean in general so that you can take a look at them and do some interpreting for yourself. The spaces portion of Mighty Network Insights shows you information about the spaces and about the features inside the spaces. What kind of engagement and activity is happening there? There's an overview. You can also look at what's happening in the different activity feeds, the different event pages, table of contents, chat room features, pages, and then there's a glossary again to help you understand what's going on. Here in the overview, you can look and see which of your spaces are most active and what's going on in there. You can change the date range again. The feed tab gives you information about the activity feed engagement in your network, either in all the spaces or in a particular space that you choose. You can see the feed contributions, what kind of things were shared, different information. And at the bottom here, this top post chart shows you what are the most engaged posts in your network, since I'm looking at all the spaces, and what people are doing with them. You can use the top events chart on the events tab to look at what's going on with your event posts. It's really interesting to look at how many people are clicking on an event versus how many people are RSVPing or cheering or commenting. The Table of Contents tab can help you see who's interacting within a particular Table of Contents or all the Table of Contents in your network, what they're doing in the sections and lessons, and you can also see what's the top content, which of those lessons are really being used, and how people are using them. Now it's your turn. Open up your network and look at the Mighty Insights, check the different numbers, look especially for trends, and watch as you make changes to your network to see how you can see engagement. So check and see if those changes you make are increasing the kind of engagement that you're looking for. For more Mighty Networks tips and techniques, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out my free Mighty Network, or work with me privately. You can get information for all of those in the video description.